on running goes public raising $746 million in IPO, resulting in an estimated market value of $7.3 billion. A brand born 11 years ago in the Swiss Alps is now contending with the running superpowers such as Nike, Adidas, and New Balance. One key point to note is although On is a Swiss-bounded company, their biggest office is now in Portland, Oregon. What's the significance of this? Not only the 2022 World Championships are in Oregon, but Nike's headquarters is a mere 12-minute drive away from On's US head office. It's fair to say that On is currently in the right place. The issues with On before 2022 of this year. Firstly, although they have a very loyal fan base who swear by some of their shoes, their lineup as of this moment is arguably the worst shoe lineup out of all the other shoe brands. From a general public view, a lot of people can agree at this point On is currently not having the biggest strength in training shoes. The second issue is the legitimacy through elite runners and results. There's two components to this. The first one is having the elite level lineup to showcase On products performing well globally. Athletes such as Joe Klecker, Holly Hoare, Chris Thompson, Sage Herta, Morgan McDonald, Jordy Beamish, Alicia Monson, Charlie Hawkins, and many more amazing athletes who are highly admired and respected in the track and field community. This solves the first component and to create such a strong team after only 11 years in business is a phenomenal feat alone. However, having these great athletes is one thing, getting them to race in On products is another. It's evident the performance component isn't there or hasn't been up there till now. As for new shoes, the clouds and lightning covering with On's new running shoes, up until this point, I don't think many would have been too hyped about a new On release, but this time it feels different. No cloud tech in sight, an ironic name considering how hard their shoes feel. All jokes aside, the reason these new shoe releases feel different is that their athletes are now wanting to wear their spikes in races. In the recent Millrose games, the men's and women's 3000 meter winners, both OAC athletes, both wearing On's newest spikes, why is this so important? It's not so much that these spikes become a super spike. It's more about that on runners have the confidence to toe the line with competitors wearing Nike and Adidas with their so-called super spikes. Not only their spikes, but we have been seeing another shoe, hopefully a road racing shoe, also be teased. We hope this shoe follows up in the same suit as the spike. And a new athlete coming into the group, Helen O'Berry, a two-time Olympic medalist with many more honors that are just too long to list. Helen O'Berry is one of the best runners on the planet she has moved from the running powerhouse and current dominating force Nike to join On, relocating from Kenya to Boulder, Colorado to be coached under Dathan Rissenheim and join the On Athletics Club. There's also a new European group, people training the On shoes together in Europe who were previously with other brands. It's not hard to do the math on what's to come, especially with the success of the American group and On being a European company at heart. There's also the On Athletics Club coach, Dathan Rissenheim. As mentioned previously, Dathan is On's biggest strength in our opinion. An amazing athlete himself, turn into what seems an even greater coach. It's no surprise runners like Helen O'Berry are relocated to train under him. There's reports that Dathan also helps with the shoe design, but we couldn't find anything to confirm or deny this. There's also On's marketability. Sometimes marketing is more important than the product itself. The best mix is having both a great product and a great marketing strategy. On's marketing strategy has been clearly successful. All you have to do is look at the numbers. As well as this, you have athletes doing their own part to grow their individual brand as well as us on. From the Copy Club podcast, Morgan McDonald's YouTube channel, Charlie Honkins' massive Instagram following, and on sponsoring Ben Crawford's new generation track and field running camp. This running camp invited promising creators from across the country to learn skills to produce content and grow the sport. With this came a lot of videos from all the other content creators, as well as new generation track and field videos that amassed hundreds and thousands of views. The factors of developing brand image using not only athlete marketing, but influencer marketing within the running space has helped on grow significantly. As this trajectory looks to continue, in addition to the development of actual good running shoes, we can be looking on as a serious running superpower competing with a much larger company such as Nike and Adidas. And we think that is a very realistic possibility. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more running content.